course, y'all know I've been reading um, from the book of Joel for the past couple of days now. God has been dealing with me in that book. God is saying, for those who have harmed, abused, and oppressed his children, they will not get away with it. God will judge his enemies. The day of the Lord has come. God wants us to know that we are his children, so we don't have a reason to fear. God said that he is not moved, nor is he shaken by the roars of the wicked. For their very breath, he holds it in his hands. God said that he has delayed answering the prayers of the intercessors because he's going to expose the false prophets, the false teachers, the false leaders, and preachers in this hour. God will not be manipulated by men who put false words in his mouth that says that he said something that he did not say. God will not be moved by the damage that we have caused in this world. God said um, that when the time comes, he will restore and he will repair what the enemy has stolen. God said that we are in the days of Elijah and that wicked spirit of Jezebel is trying to cut the head off of his prophets who are declaring the word of the Lord. And let me just say this because it's true, it, but it's not facts. Let me put it like this. It's facts, but it's not all true. You can tell a true prophet of God by their fruit. Amen. You can tell a true prophet of God by the warfare that they have to endure. Satan is not about to go up against Jezebel because that is his spirit. Amen. Satan only tries to steal, kill, and destroy what's not his. God is saying that he will not allow the Jezebel to behead his prophets that he has raised up in this hour. God is the lion of the tribe of Judah, and he will sever the head of the Jezebel. He will cut off all of her influence, and he will demobilize it to accomplish his will on the earth. God has been patiently waiting, and he has been setting the stage to show up and to show out for his people. God has been separating the wheat from the tares, the goats from the sheep, the good from the evil. God will not tolerate the arrogant, counterfeit Christians who stand in his pulpits and lie. God will judge the lukewarm as he will judge the wicked. God left y'all in charge of his sheep to guard us and to lead us to keep us from evil but you guys have sown nothing but seeds of evil and oppression upon his people god said that the pharaoh ahab jezebel nebuchadnezzar herod nabal xerxes saul benadad manasseh menahem these spirits that y'all are operating in, suppressing his people, not letting his people go, is coming to an halt. All of your riches that you have stolen will be given to the righteous ones. To the, and, and these riches will be used not for our own personal gain, but to finance his kingdom and the advancement of his kingdom. God said that there is a shaking that's that that's coming and his children will be abundantly blessed god said that our cups shall run over we will no longer be alienated by the elite in status we will no longer be looked down on we will no longer be talked about ostracized or um oppressed by these wicked people God said that we will continue to look to the hills from which comes our help. God is ushering us into miracles, signs, wonders, and healing. And this is for the believer, his children, those sheep that know his voice. 
those people who are called by his name, we are going to be abundantly blessed. Amen. God said that nations will be shaken. If we go back to the text of Joel 1, 15, the day of the Lord is near. The day when destruction comes from the Almighty. How terrible that day will be for you politicians, you government officials, you judges, law enforcement, corrupt attorneys, um, government entities, um, the people who work in the jails, the people who are still oppressing the people in the homeless shelters and the churches. Y'all have been illegally operating in authority that has not been given to you by God. Your food will disappear. No joyful celebrations will be held in the house of God. Your seeds will die. Your grain crops will fail. Your barns will stand empty. Your animals will moan and cattle will be confused. Your flock will be in misery. Fires will burn down all your trees and your streams will dry up over the nations. This is prophetic. If you read the book of Joel, not only is it prophetic, but we see it happening now. Amen. Everything I prophesy is biblical and it shall come to pass. Those who stand in leadership, you are standing illegally. You will turn on each other. You will destroy one another. God will cause you to uncover and expose the truth behind your wickedness. God will make you confess the lies you have told and you will tell the truth. Justice will be served. Vindication will be served. Recompense, restitution, reconciliation will be served in the name of Jesus. God said, y'all sat in these high chairs, y'all sat in these high places, and you laughed at the oppression of God's people that y'all caused them, and you thought that it was the end. You thought that you would get away with it because of your title. Your title means nothing to God. Y'all have killed, y'all have stolen children, y'all have shamed, y'all have mocked the widows and the homeless. Um, God said, y'all have falsely incarcerated, y'all have oppressed the poor, y'all have oppressed even the righteous people, even his prophets, y'all are persecuting. But the time has come when just like Pharaoh had to bow down at the loss of his son, y'all are about to wail for the loss of your seeds as well. Again, y'all removed my child temporarily, but what is to come for you and your household is going to be for an eternity. God is saying, checkmate. He's about to turn everything around. God said he's about to strip everything from you. Your titles, your finances, your children, your family, your friends, everything. Is about to be stripped away from you. The wicked wealth has been laid up for the just. And God is about to disperse on our behalf. To the wicked, your time is short. That's why Satan is using y'all and abusing y'all. Because he knows that his time is almost up. Do whatever y'all going to do, but I encourage you to repent. I encourage you to turn from your wicked ways. I encourage y'all to seek God for salvation because in the end, y'all are going to have to bow down. Y'all are going to have to bow down in the name of Jesus. God is saying, checkmate. Satan, all of you workers of iniquity, all of Satan's imps, Y'all should be preparing yourselves for embarrassment because God is about to embarrass you. And that's the word of God. That is prophecy based off the book of Joel. It shall come to pass. In Jesus' name, checkmate.